Tom, see, Tom's about two cars back from the lead, so he's going to try and set the guy up for the first corner to pass him at the green flag. It'll be interesting. Who's up there on the front row with him? Do you notice? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Lenars, Mike Lenars is right up there. He's going to try and keep him off. Should be a good duel between Lenars and Kessler. And here they come out of turn number nine. And they're going to get the speeds of about 150, 120 miles an hour. And Kessler's going to take him on the inside. That's car number 30 taking over the lead. Brad Calder from Costa Mesa, California has got the lead. And Kessler's right on his rear tires. They go around turn number two. So uh, quite a surprise. A caller taking the early lead and got a great jump on him, and I think it surprised Kissler somewhat. As Kissler now is falling back in what, in the third? Okay, Kissler's taking over the lead. Now that black cart number three is taking over the lead. Watch for Tom Kissler. He's going to probably start dominating this event. He Remember, he and uh, Scott Pruitt have raced a lot. He knows Scott Pruitt, and now that Pruitt has uh, left the scene now and gone on to race GTO and, uh, for the factory Ford Mustang, uh, this rider right here, uh, driver out here in front right now, Tom Kisser, has filled that void quite handsomely as uh, Kisser looks like he's going to turn into the, another Scott Pruitt. As look at the lead he's already got already as he crests the hill and goes down that back straightaway. Kisser starting to open up on the rest of the field, leaving Calder and Lenars in his wake. Okay, looks like Dylan Watts is leading the 125 class. That's cart number 76, he's leading the 125 class. Don Kistler, Tom's brother, is running second in that 125 class. Here comes Kistler, and look at the lead he's got already, ladies and gentlemen. Boy, you got to get some lap times on this guy. Remember, he would have qualified sixth in the Can-Am event. Mike Probacher in second spot. Ford driver, 
drivers. Formula four drivers up to the pre-grid, please. Formula four drivers up to the pre-grid. Formula Ford, let's get them up there. You're going to be going out next. Okay, out in front, here's your top ten as they're coming up on the halfway point. It's going to be Tom Kistler from Anaheim, California, out in front and dominating. And then in second spot, Mike Carbacher out of Burbank on a... Uh, 250 twin KP1 uh, cart, that's car, uh, cart number six. Then comes cart number nine, running in third spot, Mike Lenars out of Bell on a zip cart, 250 twin. In fourth spot, bike number 14, Nick Gutsu out of Beverly Hills on a privateer 250 twin. Then uh, in fifth spot, cart number 61, that is going to be Frank McDowell out of San Juan Capistrano. He's also on a zip. Then in sixth spot, cart number zero, that's going to be Marty Martin out of Fullerton on a 250 single invader. And in seventh spot, cart number 30, that's going to be uh, Brad Caller. He had a real good start, and all of a sudden now he's drifted back into the field. He's now running in seventh spot, cart number 30 out of Costa Mesa, also on a 250 cart. Then in eighth spot is cart number 19. That's going to be Chuck Pinninger. So Chuck Pinninger, your leader in the 125 class, is running in eighth spot overall. That's an incredible ride. He's only got half the CCs, and he's running there in eighth spot overall. And in ninth spot is going to be the second place, Willie Legron on that Kawasaki, also second place in the 125 class, ninth overall, and rounding out the top 10, cart number 69, Tom Shepard of Simi Valley on a Paragon 125 CC Rotax, and that's your top three. Eighth, ninth, and tenth overall are your top three in the 125 class. Thanks, girls. Okay, that runs them down for you. So, uh, Bob, uh, is it is it uh, possible? Is it is that normal for the 125s to run that far up in the 250 field? That's incredible. Well, yeah, but there's not that many 250s either. Oh, there aren't that many 250s out here today. No, mostly 125s. Okay, all right. So well, that's uh, you know, I guess that has a <laughs> that has a lot to do with it. We've lost number six on our lap charts here. He didn't come down by. Mark Carbacher from Burbank was running in second spot overall, and we didn't see him come by on this last lap. We'll check and see if he comes by on the next one. We're at the halfway point. Halfway point in the race. Formula Ford drivers up to the pre-grid. Formula Ford. Still leading, in fact, not only leading, but just demolishing the field here. As, as he has his way around this 2.5 uh, mile race circuit up here at Willow Springs, two and a half miles. And of course, if you cover this uh, track in one minute 30, that's exactly 100 miles an hour. And Kistler, of course, holds the lap record of 121 and change. That's 111 miles an hour. And that's uh, quite fast. And of course, uh, he looks not all that fast on the straightaway, but like we said before, he's going that same speed into the, some of these real tight turns. I want to mention you girls have somebody to cheer for out here. Uh, 62 years old, Faye, or cart number 62 is Faye Civil, and she's 60 years old, we understand. My God, and she's out of a girl. She's going around turn number two right now. Girls, you might want to uh, cheer her on. She's out there uh, on a Zip 125cc Rotax cart. Cart number 62, Faye Civil, and she won't give us her age. Okay, 14 now is taking over second spot. That's uh, Nick Gutsu. Okay, evidently he passed uh, Nick Gutsu, who's now down in the fourth spot. Uh, cart number 61, Frank McDowell out of San Juan Capistrano, now has uh, placed himself in third place overall right now. It's still Kistler way out in front, and there's no way Mike Lenars is going to catch him today. We're uh, coming down with about three laps to go. 
and uh, Kisser with a big, big lead. Okay, Kisser's coming down the front straightaway uh, one more time, and this guy is just super quick. The black number three cart, there he goes. And just nobody's going to catch him. About a full straightaway behind him in second place, Mike Lenard. This is incredible, but already Kissler has lapped all the way up to 10th place. This is just an incredible showing that Kissler's putting on out here. He has already lapped up to, to 10th place overall as he comes out of two and goes up into turn number three. Cart number three, that black cart coming up to you now on top of the hill. That 125 battle coming by the start finish straight now, heading into turn number one, and it looks like now pulling out a little bit of an advantage. The Van Nuys driver, that 125cc Rotax rider, Chuck Pinninger, out in front. Looks like uh, Willie Legrone's dropped way off the pace in that battle in the 125 class. Willie Legro now just now going into turn one one, the Downey, California resident. And uh, he's going to get, looks like he might get second spot. However, he is getting eaten up by third place as they head around turn number two. All eyes right now on Kissler. Kissler's going to be coming up on the seventh place overall driver here pretty soon. So he's going to be, he'll have lapped the field up to seventh place this next time around. Dave Martin from Bellflower, California on a Hornet pulling off the racetrack with some mechanical problems. Our starter, John Rowley, looking uh, to find well, where Kistler is out on the racetrack, and as soon as he does, he's going to give him the white flag. One more lap to go, and the first heat of the uh, road tax supercar race will be over. Well, there'll be another one a little bit later on, and of course, the, they'll tabulate the points, but right now, it looks like it's all Kistler. As it stands right now, here comes Kistler to get the white flag. He's got it. He's got two and a half miles to go, and he'll get the checker flag and win the first half of the race today. A 124.6, 124.6 for Kistler. It's about 108 miles an hour for Tom Kistler, average speed around this 2.5 mile track, so he's definitely taking it easy. He's nowhere near his lap record speeds of 121, and there's no reason to. With a big lead, uh, you can more or less just kick back, and with a white flag out, he's uh, just gonna take it easy from here to the finish, and it's gonna be all Tom Kistler's race. In fact, looks like in the 125 class, cart number 19, Gonna have a pretty, uh, pretty easy time of it now. He was in a battle earlier with Le uh, Legron, but now it looks like uh, Chuck Pittinger, cart number 19, is gonna take the easy win in the 125 class as we're looking to, uh, in this uh, super kart race very shortly. Second in 125 class, and look at this, we still haven't got second place 
by here yet in uh, the 250 class. Tom Shepard finished third unofficially in that 125 category as he takes the checkered flag. Kicking up some dust on the outside of turn number nine. the uh, end of the first uh, half of the uh, road taxes. Supercart West Coast Championship race, 10 miles, 25 laps. The uh, next one should take place a little bit later on in the afternoon.